Hello, this is TT Lemon and today I have a Feed the Beast video for you today. And this is going to be a tutorial on how to set up a high pressure steam boiler. This is a full size, using the full amount of engines, and this is a very compact design. I'm filling it with um, biofuel from a tank over there. It's a pretty easy fuel to get, you just um, convert biomass, which you get from plants, into that using a still. Then you get the fuel. Now this is going into here, I've got water supply and it's producing steam. Now the maximum amount of engines, one of these full size high pressure ones can power, is 18. And I have 18 engines all in this tiny little setup here. It takes 9 connections off here, each connection can power 2 engines, so 9 times 2 is 18 engines. And I've arranged the engines where I've got 4 there, and 4 there, and 5 on the top and 5 on the bottom. This allows a gap to run your redstone signal through to keep the engines powered. I can turn them off like that. This here is just jacketed cable, which is made like this. You just put some covers, whatever sort. I'm just using red wool to show it's redstone, and a red alloy ingot in the middle. This is from Red Power. Now that's all just pumping through this two lines here from the engines and filling up this very quickly. And you place that a minute ago. Now, the way I'm doing getting the water into this is with an aqueous accumulator and a liquid test rack that's sending biofuel into it. And that's and just one aqueous accumulator can keep this plentiful supplied with water. And well, I'm using a lot of biofuel on this, but it is the big boiler. Now, if you want to, you can stack these next to each other. Just make sure not to put them right next to each other, otherwise you break the multi-box structure. When you do that, it only loses how much steam is in it, it still retains its own biofuel and water levels. So you can stack the next one like this, and build another array of engines at the back. So, I'm going to get this space here, and I'll prepare this space here and show how to build it. Right, so, you have a 3x3 three three base, I'm using liquid fueled fireboxes. Uh, it's a fairly simple recipe once you have enough resources and feed the beast. But you could always use fire and um, solid fueled fire boxes if you um, want to use a different fuel. I just prefer liquid fuels. Now I've got this aqueous accumulator, another very simple recipe. Just pop that on the bottom. And at the moment it's only producing very little water, which it's sending up through the orange face that it has on the top, which we're sending up into multi block. Now you can make that go a lot faster if you put two water sources either side. So if I just put the water sources like that, just build a base around here, and then I'll place another water source here, and cut that up. So now that's producing water a lot faster. When I build the um, put the high pressure boilers on top, then it will um, start filling the structure when it completes. Now, for the maximum size, you can have a three by three by four structure on the top of high pressure boilers. You need 72 steel in total for this, which isn't too expensive. So you do need a rolling machine to make these as well. To bear to bear that in mind. So now, once you've done that, it's starting to fill up with water from the accumulator then what we need next is a source of fuel so I'm going to put a liquid tesseract there and then I've got a um, one called biofuel setup tick that I'm going to have that in receive only and then cover that up and it will start heating up these do take quite a while to heat up but for a multiplayer server that doesn't really matter so that's what we need to get the boiler set up but now you need a way to get steam, which you'll start making when this hits 100 degrees from here. We're going to do this with the little pipe setup. So if I get some pipes, engines, and some cable. So what you're going to need to do first is a 3x3 three three area of pipes. Then you're going to come up 5 from each corner. 
so, and then you're going to do the same with um, Register and Energy Conduits. So, when the engines are placed here, it's going to get steam from here, and it's going to put its energy into there. So, I'll fill this in, you want 5 on the top, 5 on the bottom, and then 4 on each side. Make sure they're facing down into the conduits. Like so. Now, that leaves a gap here to run a redstone signal through, which I'm going to do with this jacketed cable. Like that. It doesn't matter that it's not pointing into them. Cable like this will power engines and machines and liquid ducts, however you want to use it like that. I'm just going to bring that through and hook it up to this one. And I'll just bring it out there in case we want to add another one on the side. Now, we can take these conduits and we can bring them up like this and have them go into that and we can take power from this if we want to, like that. And go up into our system or a test factor or something, or you could just hook up the two systems pretty simply like that. Now, these engines at maximum, you can see on these, can produce a maximum of eight Minecraft joules a tick with these industrial steam engines. And as far as steam is there, see these will all be on eight. If you put any more than 18 engines down, then they would cease to run at maximum efficiency, so it's best just to leave it at 18. So I'm going to be back when this boiler is heated up, it's at 100 degrees and has started boiling the water. It's been about 15 minutes and now my boiler's heated up to over 100 degrees and it started producing steam. Now it's filling these engines, they have just reached 8 minecraft joules a tick each and they'll stay at that as long as you only have 18 engines on here. So this design is very compact and if I just do this you can easily just link them all up like that. Have tesseracts, spread some energy cells, whatever you want on them. You can put as many of these in a row next to each other as you want to. Which makes a really pretty compact setup so you don't need lines and lines of liquid ducts going everywhere. And also if you don't have enough space going out the back you can actually just put this setup on the top, as you can see it's 3x3, three three. the top 3x3, three three, so what you have to do is just place your liquid ducts on the top like this, link them up, and then have your engines up on top, so you could sort of use some micro blocks or something, put it up and make it look like a chimney, and you can make it look really nice. So. Thank you for watching this video on how to make the high pressure steam boilers. Um, my next Feed the Beast video, I'm probably going to be showing you how to produce biofuel as it's a really valuable, good source of fuel. So, thank you for watching, and this has been T Lemon.